Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is WiseDolf13 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the turbine in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And you do need the turbine to get out of the first room on transit. Well, you don't need it to, but it saves you 750 points, which is what it costs to open the door right there. So I do recommend getting this, and you also need it to do quite a bit of stuff in Black Ops 2. On, on transit zombies, of course, you don't need it on survival, you can't make it, but yeah. So, what you want to do, what you want to do first is you want to go get the first part, which is right here, by the telephone. You walk up to the telephone, and it'll say, hold X to grab part, and you grab part. And then, you want to add it to the workbench, which, which is right here. Right there. And the second part, it's right by the workbench. And there it is, it's the fan. And yeah, so you want to add the fan to the workbench right, right there. Right as you notice that door next to me, or like right here, says it need you will need a source of power, and you you need the turbine to open it, or else you have to pay 750 points to just get out of this first room, which in my opinion is a waste because you can't spend it on the quick revives there or the gun there. And yeah, so get the mannequin it's right in front of the door on this little divider thing, and you want to add that to the workbench. There you go, you got your turbine and how to use the turbine. You you press up on the on the on the D pad to use it and then you press right trigger or if you're on a PS3 R1 to place it. And it will open the store right here. Then you have to take it over here, put it on this one right here, it will also open this store. Then there you go. That is how you make a turbine in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Like this video if it helps you at all. Subscribe to my channel and check it out for some more zombies videos. That's it for today. I'll see you next time, YouTube.